week two of the oh, show. Bad. We're back. We just got off yeah. the uh, dinner break. We're in Colette's dad's apartment. hotel room. <laughs> He's visiting from Miami. Miami. Yep. So now we're about to head back. I guess. Yeah, we were just up there. Since we had a week off and we're back for the first time, we got here earlier than normal, so we ran through everything together, like full out timing and like movement, but not necessarily intention, if that makes sense. For the most part, I think all of us felt good about that. So we're gonna warm up now and go through a couple things, and then it's the show. Everybody's here. still waiting for Pat to come let us in. So I figured I'm gonna ask people questions. So Abby, <laughs> what do you like to do before a show? Specifically this show, but. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, how about you? What do you like to do before the show to get ready? I like to uh, get real warm, and then get real cold, and meditate, and then get real warm. Alright, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll start. Let's see. I uh, will always do lunge walks throughout the entire tunnel to warm up my legs. Usually, I'll go against the wall and warm my shoulders by like stretching them out. I'll lift the barricades over my shoulders for a little bit to get my shoulders warm. I usually do like push ups and planks for a little bit and just kind of like a general stretching around. Kate, as a musician, what do you do to get ready for the show? <laughs> nice hand warmers here. Mm hmm. It's important. Uh, a lot of scales. Well, <laughs> Cool. <laughs> you, I saw you get ready to box me again. <laughs> so what do you do for a warm-up? Uh, I like to get my heart racing. It's like the... party song. And then jumping jacks, cardio, just to get my body warm. Do some roll down, do some core work. <laughs> Yay, Pat's here. He's got the key. Yay, thank you. Being locked out put our schedule back a teeny bit, so we were a little rushed, but we did a shorter warm up. We did our group. Uh, run through of one section real quick and so now we're doing a very quick bathroom break before we have to lock ourselves in the back. So I will see you all after the show. Show number three. Let's do it. Finally home and uh I thought today, since I talked a little bit about what I do pre-show and what other people do pre-show, I would show you what I do post-show when I get home. Which for me is almost more important because I have a lot of back issues, so I always make sure I um, roll out my back and I decompress it as much as I can so it's ready the next day because a lot of times I find it feels like my back will tighten up at night. So usually I'll take a hot shower. And then I'll take the black roller and I'll go from my sacrum all the way to my upper back and just like lie on it for a good three to five minutes. And usually I'll like watch something on Netflix while I'm doing that. But that really helps me just kind of decompress and relax and let my body kind of calm down and um, what's the word? And then the black roller is actually a little too hard for my legs, so I break out the green roller, which is a little bit softer. So then I'll use that to work out my hips, my IT band, and then I'll take a tennis ball and use that to roll out my calf muscles. Hard to believe that tomorrow is the last show. I have a feeling I'm going to wake up pretty sore tomorrow because this whole week I kind of just didn't work out. <laughs> I was like, yes, I get a week off. Um, because I also had a rehearsal that got canceled, and then a bunch of my classes got canceled because of the snow. So I was just a lot less active. Gonna call it a night, and uh, last show's tomorrow. 